Hello my dears, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that you, your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So welcome to this reading and of course if you are new to the channel, welcome guys to the channel. And uh, yeah, I really felt inspired into the, the, doing this particular reading because I felt huh, <laughs> such a warmth in my heart and I really wanted to share that with you guys. So really, romance is in the air. <laughs> and uh, i just wanted to do that today and today is the 21st of uh, september which is the first day of uh, autumn and for me autumn is a very romantic season so yeah <laughs> be on the look for some uh, connections that you're gonna make in this particular season and also i wanted to give you some clarifications or maybe some predictions on uh, what's to come so we have three options for you to choose from we have the first option which is the uh, retro mobile <laughs> motorbike <laughs> The, th the second one is the crossroad and then the third one which is the walkman so it's been uh, ages since i have seen <laughs> this device and uh, yeah <laughs> you can uh, pick one or more options depending on the one that you're going to be feeling drawn to and of course if you would need more time so that you can pick your option or options please pause the video and then you can choose at your ease but for me, I'm going to start right away with option number one, which is the retro motorbike. Alrighty, so. Love in autumn. So what to expect when it comes to love in autumn? So this is, this is from another deck. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. All right. It's funny how those two pictures, like they look similar in some kind of way. And uh, even for the wheels, like in here, I see that you're meeting a new person. It could be as an example, if you have some kind of an issue with your bike or anything with, uh, like if you already have as an example, a motorbike and you wanted someone maybe to help you, or if you had some kind of an issue on your way to your school or on your way home it really doesn't matter uh, maybe you're gonna meet someone that is going to be trying to help you or <laughs> give you a hand <laughs> and you can see with the gloves yeah i see that they might be helping you in some kind of way this new person that you're going to be meeting or even if you already have someone in mind so you might this this connection that you're going to be having with this person is going to be solidifying by them helping you maybe fix something like manual labor <laughs> It could be fixing uh, your computer, fixing uh, your bike, your, your car, something like that. So, <laughs> judgment. Yeah, and this card in some kind of way, it looks pretty mechanical. <laughs> and the uh, three of wands. Yeah, I see that uh, it's going to start with... with this particular event and then afterwards maybe you they're going to be checking up on you how is everything is everything all right and then yeah i see that uh in here it might start as a friendship i don't see that things are going to be moving like skyrocket in here even if there is a rocket that is depicted in this picture it really did not give me the vibe that things are going to be very fast when it comes to this connection but i see lots of very casual dates i see going to the coffee shop enjoying a very warm uh coffee together or a cup of tea or maybe having some biscuits with it and I see really lots of coziness and especially as well with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles does not come out uh, out of the blue and then s s like forces themselves or maybe even uh, takes things uh, rapidly. It's all about being comfortable and it's all about being an, an environment when there is not really so many things changing all at once. So yeah, it is it is very important, but you're going to be seeing both of you with this uh, uh, Aries and Sun, uh, like from, from the get-go, you're going to be feeling like there is really a uh, good potential when it comes to this relationship. I see things developing in the future and developing for being in a committed c connection or even being in a engagement or even staying with this person for the rest of your life. So I see that you're going to be seeing the potential in both, uh, like in uh, like in each other, basically. So one more card. 
two cards. The four of swords and then the fool. So yeah, I see that uh, there, is, there is going to be definitely a period between you two where uh, you, you wouldn't want maybe to think things uh, seriously or even uh, even to consider being in an uh, actual relationship just to go out as friends. But at a particular time, there is definitely a new start that you're going to be experiencing with this relationship. You're just going to be uh, talking it out. Like, is it something that you would want? It, uh, I see the potential in this connection that we have together. And how about we take it to the next level? And this is exactly when you're going to be actually in a relationship with this person. So uh, if I can give you maybe an advice when it comes to being with your future boyfriend, friend or your future girlfriend definitely to take things slow because it is going in the right direction all right <laughs> so let us get some cards so love in autumn boundaries and creating heaven on earth it is happening so with these boundaries, it, it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? And in here, you can see this woman, she's like uh, almost preventing anybody actually to be in her surroundings or to be near her. So that's why really I have uh, felt this very much uh, an important message for you to take things slow because... Uh, the more we are think uh, like willing to know the other person, the better th like... We're gonna know who this person actually is, not just the image that they are projecting, or maybe even if we are going to be in a like, especially when it comes to intimacy. I don't know why I got this message. Uh, especially when it comes to intimacy, you're going to be benefiting a lot, maybe from taking things slow before being physical with this with this person. Also, creating heaven or earth, it is happening. I see lots lots of lovely dates. I see. <laughs> You're gonna love it like uh it, it's very warm like this 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 particular pile it, it is really really warm uh, you're gonna be very very intimate when it comes to uh the uh, discussions that you're going to be having N not the physicality of this uh, relationship but mostly you're gonna talk about your childhood you're gonna talk about your desires your aspirations and also your dreams I see lots of talks and also lots of walks in nature. All right, so let's get more cards. Okay. This one and this one. Uh, before achievement is uh, like um, doubting hesitation yeah and then the second one is this one adaptability yeah so with those two cards we have the number 64 and also the number nine that could be significant when it comes to this connection so i see with this spider i see that it takes time actually for this uh, spy, uh spider web to be built and if you're going to be going like right off the bat and putting yourself right uh, in the uh, middle of this um ice platform you don't know what is going to be happening uh in the future it could be that this person is going to be falling in love with you like very fast especially if you're going to be like uh in uh officially together and then uh, there is some hesitation hesitation that is going to be surfacing from one or both of you in the future so yeah a very very strong message for you my dears is to take things slow and to build that web it like give it the time actually to be built give the time for this uh, connection to be built on good beautiful friendship all right so i wanted also to give you some uh, astrological signs so if we can get some astrological signs about this person okay scorpio <laughs> yeah uh, let me see actually what it says Scorpio it says heal the wounds 
so maybe in eight weeks or number eight could be significant when it comes to meeting this person and also it says heal the wounds which means that you're going to be having such beautiful intimate connection with this person and i'm not talking about the physical aspect because it is going to happen but the more you're going to be willing to open your heart to your like talk about your experiences and also listen like be attentive to this person and uh, know more about them the better this connection is actually going to be for you in the future and also the better the physical intimacy is going to be so one more sign so you could be a Scorpio or this person could be as well a Scorpio. And also Scorpio season is uh, in autumn. <laughs> so uh, during this, those dates, you could be meeting this person in a Scorpio season. Uh, number four. And number four, what does it say? It says you can build. And yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what i have been talking about uh, this this relationship has a lot of potential this is what i see and the more you're going to be willing to uh, establish good boundaries with this uh, cross in here but also uh, build this relationship on solid grounds the better in the longer uh, you're going to be enjoying being with this person and the more beautiful actually this connection is going to be so let me get you one more card if there is maybe one spirit, one animal spirit that is going to be representing this person, one animal spirit, please. the armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries what it's like <laughs> this is really uh this is really amazing because and this is exactly what we have been talking about so the armadillo has a very strong uh what is it called in english so you, you understand what i would like to say and the more you're going to be approaching this person uh, so the slower you're going to be approaching them the better they're going to be feeling comfortable so that you can they can open up to you uh, completely so yeah uh, definitely there is a possibility this that this person have been in some kind of a toxic relationship or they have maybe some kind of trouble trusting people or opening up to them completely that's why it is very essential for you to just take things slow enjoy your time because i see that there is lots of beautiful times that you're going to be enjoying together also romantic dates this is this is really how i feel how i feel about this pile it could be like going on a uh, bike uh, like tours together in in the park or maybe even walk walking in nature or going like having very casual very comfortable but also very very romantic so also number three could be significant when it comes to you two meeting together but definitely i see in the scorpio season many of you are going to be meeting your special person all right so this is what i see for you my dear option number one thank you so much for watching if you would like your own private reading you can of course reach out to me all the information that you're going to need is in the info um, information box <laughs> down below <laughs> thanks again for watching and i will see you soon bye So hello, option number two. So for people that have chosen option number two or the card of the crossroad, welcome guys to your reading. So we're gonna get, first of all, some tarot cards and how about love for my dear option number two? How is it going to be? How about love? Let's get some, 
let's get some cards so is there a new person is there maybe some kind of new energies entering your life when it comes to love Ooh. eight of pentacles entry of swords let me get one more card and then we're gonna start the reading and the king of pentacles <laughs> so uh, i see that there is a possibility that you're going to be in some kind of a project or work uh, like circumstances with this person because i see in here there is contract so it could be that you're going to be choosing maybe another job or maybe you're getting a new offer or like implementing some kind of a change that is uh, mostly related to your finances to your career to your uh, stream of income certain something that is related to your work so in here this oh this is the knave of pentacles so the page of pentacles which means that there is also a possibility that this offer that is going to be coming when it comes to your career will, will have something to do with this person. So it could be that they're going to be working maybe at uh, the new company that you're going to be uh, uh, like uh, hired in or, or something of the sort. And they're going to be contacting you maybe to tell you that uh, your application have been uh, accepted or uh, maybe you're going to be meeting them uh, the first day of your uh, work. Um, let me see. I see as well. I got the information that as well there might be a lawyer. So if you would want maybe to change, uh, like buy property or maybe um, make some kind of an investment uh, or uh, purchase, I see that this person might be. Uh, the one that is going to be making it uh, possible because the number three is almost like the third the third party which means that um maybe you're going to be buying a house and then the person that is going to be uh like showing you the house it could be the uh, real estate agent or or something like that like the third person <laughs> not the one that you're going to be contracting with so let's get more cards and uh, what do we need to know about this love connection that you're going to be having in autumn so yeah some new choices that are going to be putting you in the way to meet this person some some decision that maybe that you have been reluctant into making maybe you have even uh, three options to choose from or even reallocating and you would want to maybe find a new house play have fun celebrate don't be serious so in here i see that it could be during the uh, christmas season or it could be as well like in halloween or in maybe in some kind of festivities that you're going to be having where this connection is going to be um uh, going to the next level or when you're going to be feeling like this this uh sparkle between between you two so one more card But I see that this connection as actually is, is not going to be taking uh, a lot of time for it to start. So <laughs> break the chain. <laughs> yeah. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So what I see in here is that uh, they're going to be coming out uh, about their feelings or how they uh, feel about you right off the bat. It, this is not something that is going to be taking too much time. And I see that you're going to be in a romantic connection right off the bat. It's not something that is going to be a step by step or maybe being a slow. I don't see a slow process in, in this particular uh, spread in here. So let us get two more cards. But I see that you're going to be having a lot of fun, maybe going out and having drinks. And uh, also I see lots of dancing because there is a dancer in here. Yeah, <laughs> look at that, dancers. Um, fire, illumination, inspiration, devotion, passion, devouring passion. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Regeneration, <laughs> spirituality, virtue, and awakening. 
so yeah you can see uh, those people they're all like those two people they almost like uh, look dull or maybe even like more blue than this particular person like it's like flaming hot and this is really how this person is going to be seeing you like uh, when you two are going to meet uh, it's like th there are going to be lots of people around you or maybe at least two other people that are going to be with you when uh, you're going to be meeting for the first time but there is something about you that is going to be turning on this this person like like crazy yeah Whew. so the attraction is going to be immediate <laughs> like there is no absolutely no doubt about that and i have told you that this card actually signifies maybe a contract that is going to be initiated or that you're going to be signing uh, thanks to this person or maybe via their services and this is number 30 which is also number three and uh, yeah this is exactly it, it's gonna happen like instantly this is what i see Oppression number uh, 47. So restriction, uh, diminution of resources, isolation, feeling. Uh, maybe this is some. This is how you feel in this particular moment. Or though th this new kind of energy that you're going to be experiencing is something that you haven't felt for a long, long, long time. I don't. I'm not saying that you haven't been in a relationship necessarily. But this sparkle that you're going to be feeling inside of you, it doesn't matter like uh, like how old are you or maybe how many experiences you have had, but this is something new or maybe something that you haven't experienced for a long, long, long time. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I see that there is this illumination like uh, that you're holding in your hands and yeah, something that that you feel like almost some kind of nostalgia that is going to be uh, huh, very very warm this is what i see because in here also like with all those colors that are depicted in this picture yeah lots of feelings of warmth and i see that th this this person like especially when you're going to be definitely in a like official connection together uh, they have the best hugs <laughs> this is what i can tell you <laughs> like it doesn't matter like what they say or maybe what you are doing it, it doesn't even come close to your actual physical intimacy together but they're hugs man like they they give they they are a very warm person this is what i see so let's get some astrological signs So number three could be significant because it's already repeated it, uh, in the reading and in here it says Sagittarius uh, find new meaning and Sagittarius also it talks about travel and look at that like I'm not even joking even in the first um, in the first pile we have got the uh, Scorpio which is like uh, just before the uh, Sagittarius and it's between October and November also in the autumn season and look at that you have uh, gotten the Sagittarius which is in the autumn season as well <laughs> and so yeah maybe in the uh, festivities as I have told you like during the festivities it could be during Christmas or with Sagittarius as well is uh, all about changing your location so it could be as well when you're going to be implementing some major changes related to your place of residence or even your career so yeah find new meaning which means like for me making some new decision to make a very big change one more card Enjoy the time. <laughs> this is this is what I told you, like six six, which means all about uh, enjoying your your uh, pleasurable uh, 
pleasurable activities all right and also all about uh, like um, things that you can sense things that are materializing uh, like in your in, in every day that you're going to be having it could be that uh, i'll give you an example it could be that your dates the first date as an uh, this is just an example of course that you're going to be uh, trying a new restaurant with a new a type of cuisine that you have never uh, tried before or maybe uh, go on wine uh, tasting or something of the sort so this is very um they really they really like uh, th this particular this particular person they like to enjoy their um their dates or maybe their uh fun times with people that they care for or maybe people that they are interested in in some kind of uh, sensory or maybe material new feelings <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but i know i know for sure that you have understood what i was uh, talking about but <laughs> just to let you know like they they are really um that's why like they are very warm they they like touching they like they they enjoy eating out they enjoy eating new like uh, trying new things in terms of cuisines from all around the world also they are they might know a lot about uh, wines and also chocolates all types of chocolates oh this is beautiful so if there is uh, one spirit animal that could be that could categorize this person what would it be one spirit animal please what animal spirit what spirit animal <laughs> one animal spirit please one card oh the first oh, i don't know uh, the first uh, pile also got this card and it, it's uh, the um armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries so i see that there is a possibility that, that this person uh, they're going to be um, very rapid in terms of taking things uh, to the next level but uh, i see that it's going to be taking time for you to actually know their true colors or even like who they really are maybe how they grew maybe uh, something about their past maybe something uh, about about their feelings also about uh, how they think so uh, maybe they have this kind of um, uh, face that they are putting or even like this this new uh, the, this first impression that you're going to be having uh, of them that that might change in the future so please take some time so that you can know this person a little bit more so one more card time for a beginner's mind so this person really loves to try new things so it could be as well that they have lots of activities lots of hobbies and uh, also i see that they are very sociable so they like to go out they like to know a lot of people and they do know lots of people and um, yeah it almost looks like this uh porcupine uh, spirit in here so they have pines all over their uh, their body but they are beautified so <laughs> Uh, yeah it's, it's just a like um maybe a confirmation for what we have seen already uh, the, uh, there is a, a look that they have but but they are very much guarded so they they don't show their true self to just anybody and that's why it's it's very preferable for you to get to know this person and maybe have more intimate uh, like one-on-one uh, dates with this person so, so that you can talk and have some private time together so this is what i see for you my dears when it comes to love in the season of autumn i hope that you have enjoyed the reading also if you would like your own private reading you can reach out to me all the information is in the info box down below thank you for watching and i will see you soon <laughs> bye Hello, my dear option number three. So if you have chosen the card of the wolf, man, welcome guys to the reading. My uh, retro guys here. Ooh. 
So, how about love in the autumn season? What to expect? Is there anything new that is coming for you in this season? So, So I don't know why I got like before I'm going to be given uh, any cards about uh, love that is coming for you. I see that you might enjoy in this particular time or uh, you might enjoy listening to music. It could be that this person that you're going to be meeting is going to be having the same taste or maybe having some kind of reminiscence to the old things. It could be that they like retro music. They like some kind of types of music that is not really popular, but that you're going to be uh, both enjoying and maybe also exchanging. I don't know why I <laughs> exchanging playlists, something like that. So. I see that you you uh, connect romance a lot with songs, so it it could be as well that there are some types of songs that uh, remind you of maybe old uh, even friends or maybe old events. Uh, like when you memorize, uh, it is very easy for you to memorize certain things if you associate maybe a song or maybe even a, a melody with with this particular person or event. So romance in autumn for my dear option number three. The Hierophant, ooh. Reminiscent of the old times, <laughs> yeah. There is no better card to get to depict this or maybe to uh, signify that, that you, you really like old things. It could be as well that you uh, maybe like um, old styles, even uh, in the way that you dress or uh, when you see it, even like uh, on Instagram as an example or maybe uh, on the street is something that is very appeasing to your eyes so let's get more cards and I see that you're going to be quite traditional in terms of yeah reminiscent <laughs> six of cups so I see that your dates are going to be very uh, romantic in a traditional way so it could be that they're going to be bringing you flowers it could be that you're going to a restaurant, a beautiful restaurant, especially when it comes to your first date. So they're going to be picking you up if it is uh, how it is uh, like uh, done in your in your culture, because I know for sure it, it is not the same <laughs> everywhere. So uh, like it depends on how you are in your own circumstances and how your culture actually allows dating. This is exactly how it is going to be with this person. But I see that it's something that both of you are going to be enjoying a lot. Temperance. So with this temperance, I got the uh, exchanging some uh, something that is related to emotions. So that's why I, I have... Uh, I have got this message of exchanging playlists, exchanging uh, songs that you like, it that you enjoy. But it could, it could be as well other things. So it could be uh, movies, it could be like anything really that you like uh, and that is exchangeable with maybe a romantic partner. Okay, Queen of Cups, ooh. And Eight of Cups. Oh. So it could be as well that you're going to be enjoying some time in nature or maybe uh, you're going to be, uh, your first date might be uh, near the water, it could be near or, or like a river or even the restaurant that is going to be having a, a beautiful view and a, a beautiful environment. And I see that it could be like, uh, it is possible maybe that you're going to be having one of those dates when uh, you're going to be uh, maybe uh, renting a little boat and, and going along uh, a small, uh, maybe uh, a small river or something like that. And, and it's going to be super, super romantic. So this is what I can for sure tell you. And uh, let us get more cards. Let me get it from this deck. I don't know why I got this image of uh, two people taking the bus and sharing um, earphones. Wow. For me, it is one of the most beautiful things. It's just to, it's just to be there, all right? And then enjoy the presence of each other.
transformation things are changing at cellular at a cellular level deep healing so this connection that you're going to be having with this person is going to be deeply healing for you and i you can see how much water it is depicted in this picture uh, like one two three and also this this uh temperance card also it's all about uh like getting back to balance getting back to your own equilibrium so really uh, i see that from both sides i see that if you have been maybe um uh, putting out of your your uh, be feeling uncomfortable or maybe feeling at ease in previous connection I see connections I see for sure that uh, comfort and uh, being in your own environment it's all about this this particular connection that you're going to be having so nothing that is going to be uh, rushing you or maybe uh, pushing you in a certain direction where you don't feel like it is the right thing for you it's all about uh, having some kind of intimate moments, just enjoying yourself and also enjoying uh, nature. I see lots of nature in here. Keeper, uh, keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So this person, if I can like uh, give you an information about them, they are very protective. So if there is someone that uh, they're going to be feeling uh, a connection with or maybe starting to be in a, a relationship with, they are very protective and and definitely you're going to be feeling safe around this person. Also, if uh, they are very helpful, this is like their the way that they express their love and their emotion and also their um, that they care is actually by by being there for the other person. So be uh, providing for them in in many kind of ways. It could be uh, as an example something that is very uh, very. Uh, let me, let me just give you an example uh, that you had trouble maybe to open a, a bottle of water so that they they will rush and open it for you so <laughs> something that is as that simple yeah for them it, it is actually a big thing they they want to be there they want to show their support and they want to show that they actually can help this is the way that they can express their their affection so this is just uh How they express uh, their love and their emotions. I don't see that this person actually are going to be very vocal so even if this connection is going to be uh, like reaching a very committed st stage I don't see that this person uh, like are the type to say I love you like every two seconds or anything like that but uh, like for this particular person is all about action and uh, instead of saying maybe I love you or maybe saying just some vain words that are going to be repeated every every single time for them uh, like they're going to be maybe sending you um, a, a song that they know that, that that maybe you have talked about or maybe something that you have uh, very rapidly talk, uh, talked about and they're going to be organizing something about that so it's all about action and it's all about making it happen for you so this is really how th this this person is so if there is an animal spirit that is going to be representing your your person what is it going to be know your worth uh, king spirit king spirit okay so in here what I, what i see is that uh <laughs> Uh, as I have told you, this is a very transformative connection that you're going to be having with this person and uh, they're going to be very protective and yeah, especially if you had trouble maybe to uh, look at yourself in a better way or, or on a better light, I see that uh, your self-worth and also your self-image is going to be changing when this connection is going to be uh, possible with this person. So let's get some cards. Nutrition, health, uh, well-being, uh, connection to others, inspiration of balance, like, wow. Um, spirit, 
Ah, uh, it's like provision of uh, the body, the spirit, and the soul. Why is it spirit and the soul? I don't know. So, in here, yeah, they would want to provide for you. I just give you maybe another example is that maybe they're going to be uh, having a snack with them so that you can you can share it together. And uh, this person, like I see that from both sides, you're going to be re-establishing in each other this balance maybe that have been shook by uh, other like uh, previous life circumstances. And it's all about coming back to who you are in this particular relationship. Wow. So I see also for the spiritual people, like if you are very spiritual, if you do some kind of practices that are related to spirituality, I see that you have been working on yourself a lot and that uh, this is really just um, an information that I wanted to give you as well, is that this connection is going to be pushing you ahead even faster when it comes to your uh, spiritual journey. So yeah. beauty of what is small uh, <laughs> what did i say like also with this transformation uh, this line is all about like uh, in between words so right now you are experiencing a very big transformation and i will just give you some uh, key words that are depicted in this picture on in this card sorry so uh, discovering the extraordinary in the ordinary <laughs> so wow maintaining simplicity um, taking things slow, big attention, discretion, and sensitivity to details. Sensitivity to details. So this is really what I have told you about this person. So there are some things that you are going to be uh, talking about. It, it, it's something that you're not going to be even paying any attention to, but they are very, very attentive. Maybe you're going to be just mentioning very vaguely that you would want something or maybe that you won't want to experience certain things and they're going to be surprising you with that in the future. Also, yeah, I, I see that you're going to be enjoying very simple things, but they are going to be meaning a lot. So... <sighs> I'll give you also some astrological signs. So are there ooh, any astrological signs for my dear option number three? Okay. Oh, Sagittarius. Also in the autumn season. So for the first, second, it's, it's absolutely crazy because the first, the second, and now the third one all the uh, astrological signs that you got were in the fall season like i'm shuffling live and uh, <laughs> look at that so find new meaning uh, especially uh, like if you have been uh, feeling down or maybe if you have been praying a lot so that you can get out of certain energies that you feel like they are draining you or maybe they are pulling you down really this connection is going to be helping you a lot and i see that as well i repeat uh, I'm repeating that i see that for the both sides so you're going to be helping each other find new meaning yeah so uh, nine weeks could be significant but i see that definitely in the uh, fall season and i see that also in november it could be like in nine weeks yeah so one more card Ooh. So you got cancer, although, uh, all right, I wanted to get from those uh, cards that are not really astrological signs, but you, in this, I'm going to keep it, uh, take it back uh, in the uh, deck because this is really not what I was looking for. But just to let you know, with this cancer card, it's it's like very motherly energy with this, uh, also with this number 444, four, four, uh, something that is very stable and also something that is very, very comfortable where you're going to be feeling in your own environment. So yeah, I'm gonna take it back and get another card. So we have seen that a cancer also might be a possibility, but I wanted to get a card from the other part of the deck. Okay. Ooh, endings and beginnings. So yeah, 
this is a new beginning for you a new beginning to find your own meaning and find your own center so yeah this is a, a really really significant connection that you're going to be experiencing in this autumn season uh, very beautiful for you and also for this person uh, not only when it comes to this relationship but also when it comes to your future in general so this is what i see for you my dear option of your tree thank you so much for watching if you would like your own private reading you can of course reach out to me all the information is in the info box down below so thanks again guys for watching and i will see you soon bye